there may be a situation when you delete some important files from your computer and you want to recover that files what if i tell you that you can recover all your permanently deleted files from your windows 11 pc you'll be surprised to know that so watch this video till the end to find out at the end i have a gift for you so that's been said let's get started before that let me tell you when you delete any files from your windows 11 computer it did not get completely removed from your storage device unless it gets overridden by other files before it get overridden you can recover it with the help of tenoshare 4 ddig data recovery software with the help of tenoshare 4 ddig data recovery software you can recover all the permanently deleted files from your windows 11 you can recover more than 1000 different file types including photos videos and other file formats you can also recover deleted files from your external storage devices such as sd card and pen drive now to download tenoshare 4 ddig data recovery software simply click on this free download option and it will download an installer file simply open this installer file to install the software so this is the interface of tenoshare 4 ddig data recovery software here you will find all your storage device which are currently connected with your windows 11 computer if you did not find your device you can simply click on this refresh button or else you can also click here to fix the issue and here simply click on ok now let me show you how you can recover permanently deleted files if you don't know the exact location from where you want to recover your deleted files you can simply select the storage device and click on start button and here you have to select the file type you want to recover say for example if you want to recover photos then simply select photos option similarly if you want to recover videos simply click on the video option if you want to recover all the file types you can simply click on all file types and here click on scan all file types and it will start scanning your deleted files so this process will take some time here you will also find time remaining wait until the scanning process completes so my scan has been successfully completed here we have two type of views one is tree view and another one is file view select any of the option and here you will find all your files say for example you want to recover photos simply click on this photo option and here you will find all the different photo file types say for example i want to recover a jpg image simply click on this jpg folder and here you will find all your jpg images similarly if you want to recover png images that has been deleted from your computer you can simply click on this png folder and inside this png folder you will find all the png images if you want to recover all this file simply click on all file and here you can click on recover but if you don't want to recover all your files you want to recover a specific file then you can search for the file name on this search option you can also preview before recovering so i want to take a preview simply select the image then click on this option and here click on preview so here i have my preview now to recover this file simply check this box and here click on recover here we have to select the location where we want to recover the file make sure to select different partition so i had recovered it from my local disk that is c drive so i'm going to save it on my other storage partition let me save it on the coder world here click on new folder and here let me create a folder say for example recovered files and here click on recover here you can see the recovery process has been successfully completed if you want to view the recovered file simply click on view recovered and here you will find the file or else you can also visit the location where you had saved the recovered file now let me show you if you know the specific location from where you want to recover your permanently deleted files then you can use select folder feature click on select folder and select the folder from where you want to recover the file so i want to recover the files which has been deleted from youtube videos here simply click on start so i want to recover 
a video file so i'll simply uncheck all this file and here i will only select video file format then click on scan selected file type and here you can see it is scanning my files 448 file has been found so i can recover this file here simply click on understood here click on existing file and here we have a folder here i have all the video files that can be recovered i don't want to recover all this file i only want to recover one specific file that is how to make duckduckgo the default search engine i will simply select this file then click on recover and i will select different location so let me save it on desktop then click on recover and here you can see that recovery process has been successfully completed if you want to view the file you can simply click on view recovered and here you can check the file similarly you can also recover files from recycle bin it also comes with some advanced repairing tool if your storage device get corrupted or crash you can easily recover data from that storage device using recover from crash computer option similarly you can repair photos and videos at the beginning of the video i told you that i have a gift for you as tenoshare for ddig data recovery software is not a free software so we had partnered with tenoshare to give you a extra discount if you buy tenoshare for ddig data recovery software from the link given in the description below you will get extra 30% discount comes with three different plan one is monthly yearly and lifetime you can select any of the plan don't worry you will also have 30 day money back guarantee so that's it this is how you can recover permanently deleted files from windows 11 i hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video